The Chauncey Hayden Show is sponsored by Hover.com. Domain names made simple. Go to gfq.hover.com and get 10% off your entire purchase. And by Stitcher Radio. Listen on the go via the Stitcher mobile app. For more information, go to stitcher.com slash gfq. Location provided by Sapphire New York. Visit them at nysapphire.com. You think you have me all down. You think me at me. I will always be one step ahead. Don't hurt me for real. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, look at her teeth. No, she has fangs. I'm not even kidding. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you Said insane? Hey, everybody. You're listening to the Chauncey Hayden Show, broadcasting live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City, the world's greatest gentlemen's club. Uh, this is the Chauncey Hayden Show, yes. and today, it's today is is unusual for many reasons. It's unusual for number one, we don't have my co-host Tatiana. We do not. Merp, 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 merp. I, you know, I never knew that she I makes these I... sounds until you brought it to my attention. Because you guys are ruthless. You guys are so ruthless. When someone has Thank an Achilles God she's tail, pretty. Thank God she's pretty. She's does, a pretty girl. I have so does to that say. does that take away from her attractiveness that she goes erp? Merp, depends. Burp. Depends who you ask. Most people know. I never would have picked up on that, but you guys, you pick up on that. It's I like pick she's up on everything. Yeah, you, you do. Pass me, but I could be Tatiana. I just can you go erp? Yeah, but, I'll, but I'd have to wait like forty five minutes and say nothing, and then come out with a and then go erp in an interview. Merp. Merp. <laughs> I could be I could be Tatiana. She's like boobs and hair. And she, she's, she's like great the, boobs and great boob, hair. Boobs and hair and look. <laughs> to me that's the perfect co host. What better co host would you want? Boobs and hair and merp. If we're auditioning for a co host, I would say all right, can you say merp? Merp. And no it's cause it's when you say merp. Right. It's not saying the word merp. It's knowing when to when? say it. It's like the like the thimble guy in a band. You know what I mean? You have to know when right. to to it's play like the, the triangle. Thimble. The it's tri- not quite like the most important instrument. But, but but it can ruin the whole gig yes. if you do it at the wrong time. Exactly. And it can add so much if it's done correctly. She's actually like totally smart. She's the She's most brilliant. brilliant person in this room. That's right. Yeah. She really is. She's like Menza. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Mer- Burp. <laughs> so we don't have we don't have Tatiana no. today, but we do have boobs and hair. Jessica Zarian. I tried with the boobs and the hair. You look very similar. Boobs and hair. To my normal co-host. The one thing I, I want to talk about before our guest gets uh-huh. here, and I just learned this before the show started, is that and, and please we can talk about almost anything on this show, can't we? Pretty much, almost. All right. Oh, how disgusting is it? No. What what I want to talk about. And I'm fascinated with this, and I could do a this whole show on it. This is a fascinating topic. Is that you can't ride a bicycle. I do not know how to ride a bike. Now, part of me finds that tragic and sad, like ch- almost like child abuse. What parent wouldn't teach their child to ride a bicycle? Well, I lived in like... <laughs> the hood. The hood. When I was like really young, I, like, there was no riding of bikes. There, there was, was no sidewalk. No, there Just was. Holes. <laughs> you're stu- I didn't grow up in like Afghanistan. But I do you realize? Do you realize everyone in the world rides a bicycle? Not everybody. And that one. It's probably point, the number one okay, mode listen, of transportation listen, listen, on the planet. Listen. I didn't ride a bike, and then at one point, my grandfather did buy me a bike. And did I, it had training wheels, a tricycle. It had. Or? It had training wheels. So it was a two wheeler with training wheels. Yes. And how old were you? I I can't remember. Like. Fourth grade, third grade. Last Even that, it's a late start, but Last okay. Week, All I right. don't know, something like that. All right. So I learned with the training wheels, and then there was like one weekend there, like a really good weekend where right. we took the training wheels off, and I was good. Right. And then that was it. And then like years later, I tried to get on a bike and like fell on my face, and then I tried again and couldn't keep the balance. So you have so, a bike phobia. 
not a bike phobia, but you know how they say like, oh, you're, it's like easy as riding a bike. Like, absolutely not. That means- So what would happen like, right now if we got a bike and put it outside the club and filmed you? Oh. And I, and I said, I'll give you $100 if you can make it from one end of the block to the other. Hysteria would ensue and I would be oh, I'm, I'm, well, We're doing that. No, no, no. We're I would fall on my face. I would, we're yeah. doing that. We're go, I'm going to give you like $100. knee pads, elbow pads, like helmet, but it's, face we're gonna, guard. We're, but we're going we're gonna, to we're yeah. make it, we're not going to make it easy for you. I'm going to give you one minute to go from one end of the block to the other and your feet can't touch the ground. I would never make the hundred dollars. There'd be nothing in it for me because I'm aware of what my capabilities are, and that is not one of them. So, so when you see no when you see people riding a bike, even. yeah, do you Have think like I wish I could do that? I do kind of not because I wish to use it as a mode of transportation because I can drive a car. Because it's bizarre that you can't do it. It's just well, crazy. Well, no, because I, I can drive a car. Like I can get anywhere faster than you on your damn bike. So I'm not really but like- But it's a bicycle. Don't cry for me. Like I'm good with driving my car. But what does bother me is like the exercise factor. Like all these like green, like tree hugging hippies. They're like, yeah, I ride my bike. And I feel like, oh, I can't ever do that. When you drive along the West Side Highway and you see thousands of bike riders, the do you West look at them Side and say, highway. I can't do that? I don't ever drive along the West Side Highway. Well, you, wherever you drive, whatever road you drive on, yeah. you see bike riders on the side. Do you look at bike riders and say, I can't believe I can't, I'm not capable of that? Yeah. I don't have the skill to do that. Well, I feel like I have other things that make up for it. Nothing makes up for not riding a bike. I'm going to teach you how to ride a bike. Here's your Andrew, name. how could you let your wife not know how to ride? Can you ride a bike? Yeah, I could do everything. Have, has it ever, have, have you ever been surprised? Have you ever? I also ski. I'm a professional skier. Are you shocked that your wife can't ride a bike? Uh, no. When did you When did you first learn that she couldn't ride a bike? Uh, like uh, two dates in. Yeah. She was like, "Oh, you know, I can't ride a bike." I'm like, "What, what is wrong with you? What happened when you were a yeah, kid?" Yeah, right. weren't you fascinated by that? Yeah. I, I like, just, what's wrong? You said, "What's wrong with you? Yeah. What happened to you?" It's almost the same question you ask a porn star. I attribute it to not like, having a dad. What's wrong? What happened as a kid? Yeah. Oh my god. The gosh. same question. Yeah. It's the same question you ask a porn star. This, <laughs> What's wrong? What happened as a kid? Listen, they, I will say though that at, at my job there has been um, quite an effort to like go green and you know be more tree hugging hippie, blah blah blah. And it's one not of, that bohemian to ride a bike, by the way. This, there was this. It's very bohemian in Jessica's totally, world. It's, 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 it's totally, a bike. You realize that? When you know, when you're little Asian men ride it to drop off <laughs> Chinese food. I don't you think they care mean? about green energy. Yeah, there's nothing to do. It's not like well, this new thing to save energy and was, gas. It, bike riding has been around for a long time. Right, well, it was a national like ride your bike to work day, and so they had this like email. You're totally chain. fucked. Yeah, no, there was like this email chain with like all of the. You have to ride a tricycle. You have to ride a Hot Wheel. I have to like yeah. Hot Wheel. No, I totally would. And they said, um, you know, they sent it out like, you know, tomorrow's National Ride Your Bike to Work Day. So for those of you that live close enough, please, you know, consider riding your bike to work, blah, 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 blah. And there's many people on staff that ride their bike right. every single day. I wrote back in the email chain, although since I do not know how to ride a bike, I might be several hours late since I will first need to learn <laughs> how to you ride say that, People think you're kidding. I think most people did think it was a joke. You're the most fascinating people, person I know because for several reasons. <laughs> Because you're, and I'll tell you why, you're so educated, you're so ultra you educated, you're so educated, you're so educated, it's beyond belief. You're one of the most intelligent people, if not the most intelligent person I've no, ever met in my I'm life. Not. And she married you're, me. Not. What you're, is wrong with her? You're, well, there's a, I'm, apparently, I'm, there's a lot, to, apparently there's I, a lot clearly. of things wrong with her. I went to, I went to Queensborough Community College. Clearly. But, but she, went to, she went to St. John's and got a doctorate. Because she can't ride a bike. Because she can't ride a, guy, a bike. A guy who's a normal guy would not be associated with someone who can't ride a bike who's oh educated. All right, but, but this is what makes you so complex. Despite all your education and, and, and your beauty and, and your... You're, you're, you're so well-spoken, you're an intellectual. Two things have shocked me about you. Oh dear. Number one, you can't ride a bike. <laughs> okay. Number two, you don't know what the word harem means. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is and, true. And I, and I find this is true, that I did not know the, what that the, was. The curveballs that you throw out there for someone so educated, that it's I, fascinating. It. Won't it. have, won't have, won't have uh, fried chicken like meat on bone. I don't like meat on bone. Won't have ribs. I don't like it. I don't you won't, why won't you have ribs? ribs. I don't care for it. She can't have her food touching either. Listen. And food, like vegetable can't touch meat? Nothing. It's over. This, no, Done. No, no, no. In this day You're age, actually kind of crazy. Like, no, 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 no. That's not You're true. so smart, you're crazy. And you're she one of those loves. People, you're, you're one of those people that's so intelligent, you've gone insane from it. 
<laughs> your intelligence has made you mad. You're mad hey, from intelligence. She's like Bobby so, Fisher. Yeah, no. you're so bright that you're fucking crazy. Okay, well, I don't think I'm that smart. I think that you think that I'm that smart. What'd you come in your SATs? That I'm that smart. I don't even remember. No, you're one of the smartest people I've I, ever met. I don't think I'm that smart. I think that there, I, there's always things that I need to learn. Like I've, vocabulary well, Like words. harem. Yes. And, and how to ride a bike. Ride a bike. Now, will I ever learn how to ride a bike? Who knows? I but think, there are other things that I can do but you've that since, most people can't do. I'm a, I can synchronize swim. I'm a, I was a are you serious? I was a competitive synchronized swimmer. So you can synchronize swim, yes. but you can't ride a bike. I was a gold medalist in the in um like this in the Olympics. State of, no, no. Yeah, I I an Olympic gold like, medalist in synchronized. Yeah, I have like a gold medal state, too I, in the ten meter dive. Chauncey. In the state of New York, 2004 Olympics. They had like <laughs> they had these competitions when we were younger for like all of Long Island and Queens. And what do you a bathing cap? It was like all of New York. Actually, no. In in singer and swimming, you're not allowed to wear a bathing cap. You so you have all this crazy hair. No, no, no. You have to use Nox, which is basically gelatin without flavor. So it's Jello without like cherry flavor. It's like clear Jello. And you put it in your and hair. And you you take it and you boil. It. And it's like the only thing. Like you know, you're a real singer and swimmer. Like if you know what Nox is, and you look. If you pass by like the Nox, like the Jello aisle, and you see Nox, and you think of swimming. Then you know, like you were saying, I said, so you're like a mermaid. So you like take Knox, this right. Jello, and you put Jello in your hair, and it like solidifies just like Jello would in underwater. And that way, because you're not allowed to use gel or hairspray, because when you're so far underwater and keeping your head underwater, you'd get flyaways, and those were deducted points when you were in competition. So you're not even fucking around. No, like you really do this. No, no, we well not anymore. You, you, you but just we got had you just got done telling me before the show. You were like, well, there's a reason why I don't know how to ride a bike because I grew up in the ghetto, and, but yet. There were, were there pools in the ghetto? Were there built-in pools no, no, no. in your not, apartment complex in not, this ghetto? I did not grow up in the ghetto. I lived when, like, bike riding age, I lived in an apartment in a neighborhood where we wouldn't necessarily... Minute. Where apparently there was a pool Wait nearby. A yes. Woodhaven's not the ghetto. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about it's Woodhaven. It's an awful place. But I wasn't talking about Woodhaven. Awful, awful place. No, Woodhaven is not that bad. When I was actually not riding a bike, that was in the Rockaways. I lived in the Rockaways. And we lived across the street from like, like a catering hall, like a used car dealership. And the 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 apartment that I lived above was like a front for like drug dealers. And where does the pool? So like we where did does the pool go outside? Become a factor. Well, we didn't go outside at all. My I had very wealthy grandparents who who let you although, grow up. In, you had very wealthy grandparents yes. who let you grow up in a ghetto without bike no, no, riding it was lessons. Not the ghetto. It was not the ghetto. Okay. It was absolutely not the ghetto. It wasn't the best of neighborhoods. It wasn't right. like. You know, like super suburban. But they but wouldn't buy you a the bike. Ghetto. They, they sent me to the best schools, mm -hmm. and they sent me to swimming lessons. But wouldn't give you bike riding lessons. And they did eventually get me the bike that I learned how to ride. The one you were one talking day. about with the two training wheels. But that wheels. was long into the future. After yeah. I had already moved to Woodhaven, which was not a bad neighborhood when I grew up. Andrew thinks like the upper echelons of society all live in Bayside. The greatest but not, joy. But most people do not live in Bayside. Jessica, the greatest joy I will have in my life yes. is teaching you how to ride a bike. Okay, then you can. I will be like the proud father you can pushing you in the park, system. holding right? you holding your seat, letting you go, and watching you like go back teeter. and forth, yeah, teeter down, down through Central Park into a bush. And I will cheer and I will cry like a baby. I love it. At that moment. I think we should do it. I uh, absolutely. A GFQ special. And I'm going to buy you a bicycle you're buy for your bicycle? graduation present. Of course. That is an awesome gift. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'm going to make you. Uh, Can I have a basket? I'm going to have you in the Tour de France. <gasps> you know, I, I'm a great swimmer. I've been, like, I swam since I was really young. And, like, this year I had started running, and <laughs> there were people at work that were like, we should do a triathlon. But that involves biking. Bikes, bike. You, and I can't you, do you, it. You, You'd have, really to, you'd have to walk your bike. Whoever else is riding, you'd have to walk it. I would have to walk my bike. That's amazing to me. Yeah. God, that's a great story. That really is it a happens. great story. It happens. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yes. Let, let's, let's take a break. We're <gasps> going to come back. We'll you. see where our... We'll see. What is his name? Cliff Robinson? Right? Did Cliff Roberts or Robinson? It's Cliff was? Robinson. It's Cliff Robinson. Yeah. I keep wanting to say Cliff Roberts. but is that it. Because that's not his name. Is Cliff Roberts the actor? No. I have no idea who he is. Cliff Robinson. Cliff Robinson is also an actor. There's like a million Cliff Robinsons. Yeah, there is. Okay, well, we're going to find out where John our Smith. Cliff Robinson is. Oh. We're going to take a quick break. My guess is the George Washington break. No, they're, they're way closer than that at this point. I'm okay. sure of it. Say FDR. 
Yeah, they're on the okay. FDR watching all the bike riders go by. Right. Not one of them jealous that they can't ride a bike. I guarantee you Cliff Robinson who's six foot ten can ride a bike. I bet you can. There are not many people that can't. That's why it's so fascinating. There's Although nobody who can't ride a bike. You, I will tell you, yeah. my cousin can't ride a bike either. The other little, the other ones, because we have a big family, the right. other ones all can, but my cousin, the one that's like closest in age to me, she right. can't ride a bike either. It's amazing. They all got hit in the head at the same time. It's amazing. We can't. It's like and, she's abuse. and you talk about brilliant, she's brilliant. She's like fellowship, NYU, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like brilliant. But somehow that fell through the cracks. Fell through the cracks. Through all the mathematical equations, all the. Because it wasn't important. We can both All drive the book cars. reading. What's the, the, what's the point in life? How is the bike riding gonna like make me a better person? It will never make me a better person. Going and part studying of, it's something. Part of, but it's doing part of the hand eye coordination to... of the development of the mind. It's like throwing a ball up in the air and just catching it. I gotta it. tell you, the other cousin, also a competitive synchronized swimmer with me. So we can both do something that's definitely You have zero high, balance. High, that, no, are you kidding? Balance? You have no balance. I have total balance. Then why can't you ride a bike? I can flip upside down and keep my body then above why the, can't water. you ride a bike if you have balance? I, I have balance. What happens it's if you ride a bike? Thing. You fall over on your it's side? It's a different thing. I it's can't, balance. I, I don't even, it's balance. Yeah. Yeah. It's a phobia. You have a phobia. Perhaps. You have a bike Maybe riding I need, phobia. I need a psychologist. You need a, you need a bike riding psychologist because yes. you can ride a bike. Right. Because you're 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 brilliant. You can Do you think it's a like a, a metaphor it. for like all other things? Oh, absolutely. Okay. There's a lot going on there. there it's a, it's a total mental issue. I think this would yeah. be a perfect reality show. All right, we're gonna get a, next week. We're bringing a bike on the show. I think that's just a bike. You're yeah. gonna interview the bike. We're gonna interview the bike. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get your side of the story this week. <laughs> next week we're gonna get the bike side of the story. Burp. Burp, burp. We'll be back right after this. We're back. You're watching the Chauncey Hayden Show, broadcasting live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City, the world's greatest gentlemen's club from the Boomer and Carton VIP room. Of course, it's it's a weird night because, as usual, there's always, always, always. conflict, right, with our guests. Either they won't come inside because it's a strip club, or they cancel, or there's, there's always drama. So right. tonight's drama with our guests is that they're stuck on the George Washington Bridge. Yes. But you know what you have to wonder, though? If this was Fox News, would they be stuck? Would they no. be stuck on the George? No, 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 never. It, right? Do you feel the same way? Am I being paranoid? No, let me ask you. If this was Fox News, they would have left at, at three noon, in the afternoon. At noon to be here at six. Well, we can't blame that. We have to blame that on, on the well, club. We, yeah. Because the club doesn't send the car till five o'clock. Right. Which I don't understand. Why can't they send the car? We have to talk to Mike about that. Why does the car because have that's to? His work hours. The limos are purchased by the club, so those so are they only workers. have it from four o'clock in the afternoon. Because that would be like you come into work at like nine a.m., but they're like, mm. oh, but today can you come in at seven? So what we're saying is the show starts too early, right? And we're making it difficult on on the club. Not for me. You no. like this? Yes. Yeah, I want to be out of here. But it's we didn't have hard. issues when we had the club. Oh, oh thank, thank you for your support. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get that, the hell out of here. I, you know what? That stung a little bit, Andrew. I get my I get my Jack on the Rocks, and I just count down the minutes. You take your Percocet, have your Jack on it's the like Rocks. It's like prison. Right. It really is. You Sometimes it's like prison. Time. I just stare at the time, and it's I like... I watch you. It's like 6.50. I'm like, oh, good, know, 10 minutes. I, I look 10 minutes late. It's like 6.50. A lot of times, did you ever drive, and you're looking at the road, and you realize after the last five minutes, you really weren't looking at the road? Yes. And all of a sudden, you're like, ooh. Well, I don't the, even know what I... How did I get here? happened in the last few minutes. Yes. I, I, when I do this show, I stare at Andrew, and I forget I'm even doing a show. Five minutes go by. I'm like, what did I even just talk about? I'm looking at Andrew. Oh, no. Yeah. That's evident, though, if you watch the show. You can tell that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, while we're waiting for our guest. Yes. He has another exclusive. Because okay. I have tons of them. I love exclusives. So, to me. ready? You, everybody knows Angelina from Jersey Shore. Yes. We're, we all know her. She was from season one, season two. Walked off both seasons. Yes. And basically walked away from millions of dollars okay millions of dollars yeah well in metropolis nights magazine the one i'm the editor-in-chief of yes we did a, a cover story on her which actually is in star magazine this week they actually picked it up in star magazine because in the first half of the interview she talks about how she's mature she realizes she made a mistake she realizes leaving the show yeah, leaving the show was was an a, a incredible error of judgment, right. and that she was immature, and that if she could go back in time, she would do things differently. Right? She admits to it all. She admits that she was a fool, and that she's mm -hmm. grown up since then. 
halfway through the interview, I mentioned Dina, who took a place on the show, and her response is, if I see Dina, I'm going to punch her in the face, I'm going to spit in her eye, oh my and that gosh. will be the very first thing I do the second I see her. <laughs> so, in, in one breath, she's, a, she's saying how she's growing up, oh and in the next gosh. breath, she's still looking to start a fist fight with Dina, who took her place on the show. That's ridiculous and pretty much Angelina so Angelina it's, it's great like, it's so Angelina it's great yeah and, and okay and here's the other part here's the second half to this I now everyone who watches this show if you've been a long time yes. viewer of the Chauncey Hayden show you know my history with Angelina we've played the tape of her mother calling me and telling me she was going to sue me for millions if I yes. put her daughter's face on the cover of the magazine I worked for at the time, or if I ever called her daughter again. Okay, we played the tape numerous yes. times. I wish I had it now to play, but I don't have it. But we played it enough. Right. All right. I now find myself insanely attracted to Angelina. <laughs> and you think I have problems? I, I find I can't myself. Ride a bike? I find myself so attracted to Angelina that I can't even begin to tell you how hot I think she is. You're nuts. I don't know where, I used to think she was one of the most unattractive, pain in the ass, disgusting people mm -hmm. I've ever known. I, I can't stop thinking about her. I, I think know. about her day and I think about her at night. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least she's age appropriate for you. And now, and now she's of the right age. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm attracted to Angelina. And I think she's attracted to me. That's the worst news yet. Like yeah. seriously, the absolute I, worst news. Yeah. I, I don't I, even know what to say about that. That I nothing. Got nothing. You got nothing to say to that. No. I mean when you call in the psychiatrist to find out why it is that I can't ride a bike and I have this fear, right. we can also have the psychiatrist like figure out what the hell is going on in that. You've head. seen the pictures of her in Metropolis mm -hmm. Nights. Do you agree yes. she looks incredible? Andrew, do you think she like looks hot? Uh, Angelina? Yeah. She looks like no. every other... There's something about her that's she changed. She looks like every other Staten Island, Brooklyn girl. Like, there's nothing... Like, I can introduce you to, like, Well, when she talks, like, when she talks, it destroys the whole fantasy. Yeah, okay. I was going to say... Yeah, when she opens her mouth. But if she doesn't talk, I think she's hot. She looks like every single Staten Island, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn girl. We can get you, like, 27 others. Do you know what she's... Okay. This is going to be so appropriate for what we're discussing right now, especially because of one of the people that's sitting in the room. Do you know what Angelina says in the interview? She wants to make a porn video for Vivid Video. Oh my gosh. She wants to do porn she for Vivid. To, she would have to get herself back on. Now I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to name names. I'm just going to turn my head to the right and ask, would there be any interest there you go. We have a representative Vivid in the house tonight, sitting quietly waiting for the other thing we discussed. Oh my gosh. Apparently there's interest in an Angelina porn video. Mm, I could see there being interest I in think it. I think it would But it would sell. really only, like I think that if it was with another cast member, it would really draw a Well, crowd. let's turn our heads to the right again. Would it have to be with a cast member or would Angelina from season one and two, the Jersey Shore sell, but without without uh, any other having like sex any... with a cast member. There you, go. there you go, and I agree. I don't think she needs anybody. I think she could do a lesbian scene. Lesbian? No, no, it's no. got to be a guy. It's got to be penis. All right, so we could. I'm sure we could find somebody mm -hmm. to to have sex with her on camera. I I would do it. But there you go. I would, there, I, I, could I? Would that sell? They'd let me think Vivid would let me do it. They don't care who does it. Just the representatives' do it. Just eyebrows somebody. just pop up. Somebody just up. please take their penis out and have sex with her, and let's just get this thing sold. She wants. Mm -hmm. She wants to do it. So that's something else we have to talk about. Angelina, I think she knows at this point that the money train is over. She's not getting booked in clubs anymore. There's no. There's no. Me. There's no money coming in for Angelina. Let but, me ask you, how but much money can you make? Is from there. Their fame is there and never going away. How much money can you make from being booked in a club? I mean, like, I don't understand why they pay, like, Snooki, Snooki to show gets, up. Snooki, Snooki got almost like 15000 No, she got, like, thirty grand one time. Well, I'm telling you, that's a ruckus commencement. Yeah. Ruckus paid for that. I, at a club in New Jersey, she got 15000 and nobody showed up. Jeez. And she got 15000 Which Which club was it? I don't want to say. Oh, okay. 46 um, Lounge. I, well, when yeah. I say I don't want to say, why well, would you then test me 
and, and name a club as if I'm going to say, oh, I don't want to say, but I guess now I have to no, say. No, because now no, I'm, I'm not going to say the club. Okay, because, that, because that's a club. I'm not going to say the club. Okay. You're, so, you, you're such a bastard. She got 15000 at an unnamed club in New Jersey, and, and nobody showed up for it. It was a big waste of money. Wow. So that's, and that's the biggest of all reality stars. That's the top of the top. Unless their pants are down and there's a penis inside their vagina, nobody cares about them. That's how it goes. Angelina is in a good spot right now because she has the fame and the name. You could say her name to anybody in any bar across America. You just say the name Angelina and people know that who you're talking Jersey about. Shore. You know what's hysterical? More so, more I think so of Angelina than Jolie. Angelina Jolie. In fact, if you, had to, if you say Angelina and you have to fill in the second name, Go Google it. Type in Angelina. It comes up, I think, before Angelina Jolie. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That, no, Angelina Jolie. Type a P. Type a P and see what comes up. Just a letter P. Just a letter P. No first name. Just P. No, Angelina and the letter P. That's ridiculous. Why? And then write Jersey. Sh- and then write no. Jersey Shore. D- no. Write don't, MTV, mock, don't mock. Don't mock what I'm write saying. And then write and then see what pops up. <laughs> I wonder. You don't think so? You don't think that shows a degree of fame if you can type someone's first name? Angelina is is a very common name. If you put like Andrew Z, Andrew Zarian comes up. So no. Does it, does it really? <laughs> yeah, it does. Really? Yeah. No, actually, it's Andrew Zimmerman first. Oh, no. um, but aren't you in the top few? Are you? No- and, and if you put in Andrew Zimmerman's wife, you come up. <laughs> type in Angelina and the letter P. Yeah, sure. It comes right up, right? Yeah. Of course, because because. Because she's a household name. There's also not that many famous Angelinas. But, here's the, but this is why it's a perfect storm with her. She's a household name with no money and no prospects. The only okay. thing she has left is so porn. So she'd be a cheap. And, but there's an interest, but there's still an interest to see that porn. See, this is, this is where it becomes a mathematical equation. Mm. There's got to be a lot of factors involved. Like a risk. You've got you to gotta have the name so it's interesting for people. Okay. Yet, you got to have not enough going on where you have other options, where you don't have to go down that road, but yet right. still be viable for people to care about that you did a porn. Right. That's a very hard combination. This is true. Th- that's a recipe. It's a recipe, and it's not an easy recipe. There are a few people that qualify under those conditions. You're not going to get. Um, you're not going to get a, a major celebrity. Uh, Charlize Theron is not going to do a porn video. Right. Although it would sell. Right. Scarlett right. Johansson is not going to do a porn video. Well, there are pictures. But they're not going to voluntarily do a porn video. They're not going to do right, it. Right, it's different. Okay? So then who is going to do one? You can't do someone who, who does porn or who, whose chastity has already been compromised because there's no interest in that. It has to be someone where there's an interest in seeing them naked and seeing them. You know, one of the examples that comes to mind, you remember the um, ice skating lunatic? Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. Yes. Penthouse Magazine ran the photos of Tanya Harding, okay? Mm-hmm. Because she was crazy, she wasn't even that attractive, but she was crazy and right. so and globally known. I think most people want to see. So Nancy when that Kerrigan. video came out, did that video make money, Jackie? Back then, this is going way back when we had like Betamaxes. I know, no, Tanya Harding. Then the actual video. Well, the man, what Penthouse did, they 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 actually did they produced the video, they put it out themselves, didn't they? Back then, they they actually put stills of clips of the video in the magazine and sold it that way and it was unbelievable wow but that was that's the same thing with angelina she has a global name mm-hmm. she's crazy and, and and she's a lot better looking than tanya harding that's true and, and and in this culture probably more famous than tanya harding was when tanya harding was famous jersey shore is is really well, big i'll give an example colin farrell had a uh, sex tape a couple years ago Right. Oh yeah, I interviewed the girl. In Nobody it. cares. Nobody I interviewed cares. the girl. I interviewed the girl in it. Um, Nicole Nor. Nor- yeah, yeah. Uh, she, Nari. She, she, she's cute. She's half black, half white. But nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody. Nobody cares about guys fucking. No, I don't care how big a star you are. Rob Lowe. No, the really? underage tape, right? There was a Rob Lowe tape, apparently. Really? Well, there was that underage tape. They cared about the Colin Farrell tape, but he brought in all of Attorneys. Oh, they they shut. Well, it that's down. what. Well, that's the other. Well, that was the other factor we didn't even discuss yet. You also need somebody willing to do it because the, right. it's so hard today to put out a tape because of the laws. It's it's very very difficult. Well, another one was uh, the guy from Grey's Anatomy. 
His, he had a video oh, that came well, out and well, nobody cared about well, that either. Of course, he had that video with one of my best friends, right? Oh. Carrie Panache. Carrie P- Panish. Panish, depending on Best who. friend, although. Best friend, you know. Pana- she no. says Panache. Her family says Panache. Okay. Anyway, she did a threesome with what's her face? Elizabeth, uh, what was the girl, the actress? Which girl? The one that's in it. It's a threesome. It's the, it's the guy from. Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Okay. It's Carrie. And it's uh, the other actress who ki- who hit the guy, the kid with the car, and killed him. You know oh. who I mean? It was Elizabeth Berkeley? Is that it? No, not Elizabeth. No, who was it? Um, what's her name? God, I can't think of a name. Uh, I'm sure if I go down, they're, this they're list. married. They're Gina, married. Gina Lee uh, Nolan had one. Nobody nobody cares about it. No, no. I mean, and these are big names. They're big names. Yeah. Who's Carolyn Murphy? I don't know who Cameron Murphy is. Oh, uh, swimsuit model. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, nobody cares no. about that. It's, that's what I'm saying. There has to be a certain ingredient. Yeah. There has to be public interest. And it doesn't mean that you, you don't have to be an A-list star to have that public interest. You just have to have that curiosity factor. In fact, I would say most of the time, you don't have to be A-list. You just have to be a freak of, of pop culture nature. Mm-hmm. And Angelina falls into that crack. You know, right. I she's fa- she's fascinating to people because she did walk away from one of the, probably the most popular reality show of all time, and twice. the fact that she, twice and she's wacky and the show is so controlled. Here's the other factor: the show is so monitored and controlled by MTV and the agents and the mon- and, and uh, the publicists that work mm-hmm. for for each each individual person on the show mm-hmm. that the show has become boring. They're so protected. You get that one loose, only one person walked away from that show. Only one, there's only one cast member who who's identified with that show who's still not on that show, and that's Angelina. There's nobody else that was ever on that show that's no longer on that show. But there was nobody else ever on that show that's not on that show. Period. Except Angel- for Angelina. Except but for Angelina. Angelina's the only person that ever. It, it's not that Angelina walked away. She's from the it. only black sheep. That Angelina She's the was only- the only one that was part of the show and then is in right there's nobody it's not like there's a slew of cast members who have come and gone who we know from the show have gone on right. to other things she's the only one she's the only one but she's also so the, hated by the other makes cast members. Ma- more compelling even more compelling right you know what i mean you could do here okay i'm gonna i'm gonna design this i'm gonna actually produce this you have and and people the porn industry remember last time you did this somebody's cell phone went missing in here the, the porn industry tried to do this once with all fake cast members. They did two versions of Jersey Shore. I don't think either one sold very well. Um, you take Angelina and you put her in a house with lookalikes from the Jersey Shore and you have crazy sexual exploits with each member of the house from a fake snooky, a fake situation, but it's really with Angelina. And, no. and you, That'd be hysterical. Actually. You don't think that would be good? No. I think it'd just be so bizarre. And she just bizarre. has sex all, and she has wild, Explicit sex on camera. I would like to see Angelina with Gianni. Oh, I wonder if Gianni would do that. He wouldn't do it. I don't think he'd do it. I don't think Gianni would do it. I mean, I'm sure Gianni's still making money off the show, so Gianni's not going to be doing that. I don't think you're going to have a very hard time finding someone willing to do it. Angelina has said on the record in Metropolis Nights she will do porn for Vivid. She said uh, Vivid approached her and offered her a boatload of money, and she's always turned them down. She has rethought it, and she wants to do a video now for years ago. Really, uh, years ago, right? Not now. Now things are a little different. She wouldn't have the money offer that she had. Right. So she she should get into porn full time. I think she's series. saying. I think she's saying the opposite. Like she really needs to decide if this is that's what you're saying. Well, once you. Because then but where there, to go? But, there, but you, you, Jackie, would you admit there's money in it for her to be made at this point? She's still famous enough with the show that there's still a ch- there's still money to be made at this point right now. You're right. Tiny the window, the window is shutting. Right. The window, because when that show ends, she's all, she she's right. completely done. She's got to do it while the show is still being taped. But would Angelina make as much as the other cast members? No. No, of course not. No. No, but the other cast and members are it, never going to do it. But the, Okay. But, That's what makes her valuable. But if Angelina, the other cast members would do it, she'd have no value. But Angelina is, like, if she even if she had a book, if she did this publicity tour, I don't see her making much money because... 
all I see You're forgetting is, two words, sex sells. True. But would you pay to see that? See, I, Absolutely. Would, I personally would not pay to read her book. I would not pay to watch her. You I would do not, watch You it. do not have a penis. I would watch it. The, but I wouldn't pay. The, wait, do you? I guess so. Do you do you watch Jersey Shore every weekend? Yes. You do? I do. Love what is wrong with you? And you don't have time I, to ride a bike? I love... And you don't have time to learn to ride a bike, but you have time to watch shows you should. I, don't, you don't I think... watch the worst television. I watch every single reality show. I love it. I think it's mindless and entertaining and excellent. I think it's so ridiculous that it's the best thing on TV. I love I, it. I can tell you that guys have a fascination with this girl. We like that she's crazy. Guy, guys just like crazy girls. She's crazy. She's crazy. And you can put her in so many situations, mm -hmm. but of course, not mainstream situations. But anymore. see, I also think she's a liability because I, I cannot see her committing to the actual thing. Like she'll that's probably why, say that's yes. Lawyers come right. involved. Well, and, you, and you have you have no. a legally no, but that's a problem. You have a legally commit. You have Angelina legally commit where she doesn't get paid unless she. Doesn't. That, that she doesn't get paid. On, that yeah. she doesn't get paid. Right. And then she probably does a whole publicity. Or that, she's liable. Or she's liable yeah. without. She has to do X amount of publicity or she's liable. Well, if like, she we're, doesn't we're have anything, setting, what are you going to do? We're working take? for Vivid right now. Yeah. We're, we're setting up our whole schedule. Yeah. Well, what is she? Yeah. What is she going to? What are they going to get if she doesn't have anything? They can't get anything out of her. No, you can take back. You can sue back for the money, I guess. Or or you pay her in piecemeal. You know, you get X amount now, you do your publicity tour, you get the other half. I can see her like saying like I'm gonna do a sex tape and then having to break down at the set and oh, then that going would be better. To, oh, that would be great. And then she does, you know, VH one uh, rehab thing and then comes back and she talks yeah. about how she was in a bad spot and now she's right. better. It's right. like an endless You can see circle. the interview with Oprah, oh, you man, can yeah. see you can see the whole thing, right? The Diane media Sawyer, tour. she's gonna hold yeah. the whole thing. What happened? Why did you walk away from a million dollars twice and then you decided to do but Another bad decision you could sell it as. So you walked away twice from a show that could have made you millions. Right. Then you decided to do porn. Yes. Some will say, some will say, the devil's advocate will say, yet another bad decision. But at the same but, time, but it keeps her in the, ah, keeps, her in the, the keeps her in the here's media the thing. limelight. Kim Kardashian. Best Not a bad decision. decision Kim Kardashian, it, it, she would have been famous anyway. I, I think she was set to be famous. I don't think so. I, I, no, no, no. I, th I think no. she would have had some she sort never, of success. I disagree. I disagree. But nope. it would have never been to the level Kim Kardashian that it is now. Never would have been a household name. No, she was that becoming already. She was uh, Paris Hilton's friend. She, she was, was doing a, social, a lot of modeling. She was. A, she was. She, a, was like a she social, wasn't even a dealer socialite. socialite. She was one of a thousand hangers-on who looked hot. But there was a lot of girls that did that. Mm. She, without that sex tape, you would not know the Kardashians. You would only know them from the O.J. Simpson trial. Right. That sex tape. And that one sex tape made the entire family. And famous. I'll go. And, and the entire Paris, family. Yeah. And by the way, Paris Hilton, the same thing. Paris Hilton might have been a socialite, but there are a lot of socialites. The obsession wouldn't have been there. You would not have, she not have, would have gotten that reality show, which started the media frenzy, had it not been okay. for that. Pam Anderson. The pa sex tape famous did not. Two Anderson, sex tape. Two yeah. sex tapes. No, Pam Anderson's sex tape helped Tommy Lee, not Pam Anderson. Right. Yeah. Right. That, that was better for Motley Crue than it was for Pam Anderson. But that was well into her game. She had, At that point, Pam Smart. Anderson lived in a mansion. Yeah. Pam Anderson w was a multimillionaire. It was like the peak of her career. She was at the peak of her career. No, she didn't need... That tape made her more famous. Whether or not she needed it? No, I don't think right. she needed it. It made her a shitload of money, and it made her an international global superstar mm -hmm. outside the box of what of Baywatch... Right. But she's never done anything beyond Baywatch anyway. But Baywatch w w was already, you know, a pop culture iconic show. Right. But that was the beginning of the sex tapes. The Pam it tape was the, was the beginning of that whole, oh my God, people want to see celebrities. Right. Jackie, have you seen all the sex tapes? Have you watched them all? Well, we've done 22. What was the, what was the best selling, the, mo the most famous? It used to be Pam, and I think um, Kim has so Kim, yeah. Kim, Kim was Kim. But is, you know, it's, it's also a different world because when the Pam tape came out, the, in, the the internet. I mean, you didn't have a thousand and one porn right. sites on the internet. You actually had to go buy a DVD or tape from a yeah, porn shop so me, or order. Let me tell you. Okay, here's another thing, and Jackie can say yes or no. I think that's helped celebrity sex tapes because we don't care about porn stars like we did because porn porn stars are all over the internet for free. You can watch any porn tape on the internet. You can go to Pornhub and watch a 60-minute porn video but what, for free. But, but, yeah, but, but that's you can't, not good But you for... can't watch a celebrity. So then, so then our interest changes. 
So what are we what are we looking for? You're looking for themes. You're looking for something beyond what you see on the internet. Celebrities are one of those themes that it's, it, you can't you can't look up Angelina from Jersey Shore having sex. The person that we were talking about earlier who shall remain unnamed, you can't see them anywhere right. doing anything right. that uh, calls out their chastity. You can't see it. Right. It, it's something special. We're, we're numb to porn. We're all numb to porn. We see it. But so, so you're up the ante. You need something different. Celebrity something porn special. videos cha change the game for us. That's true. It, do it does. And it's harder and harder to find celebrities willing to do it or that will sell. Not even willing to do it, but that will sell. Right. Angelina will sell. The girl who we're talking about earlier will sell. Right. Right? That's 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 it. That's true. That's that's sell. the that's the adult business now. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, take a quick let's take a quick break and we'll be back. Do you want to wrap it up this. and then we, we could actually yeah, take a break. Yeah, take a break. We'll come back after this. We're back. You're watching the Chauncey Hayden Show, uh, broadcasting live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City. Um, so, what did we learn from this? Oh, dear. We learned that we do want to jack off to Angelina or not. <laughs> like, I guess. Oh, is that is that is is that the moral of the story? That yes, we do want to jack off to Angelina. That Ameri uh, America, I guess, believes that she would be worth it. But you wouldn't jack off to Angelina is what we learned from this show. We learned that you can't ride a bicycle. Right. And Angelina doesn't can, do it for me. But you can do backflips in a pool. I could. Like, who is it? Esther Williams? Is that her name? Who is the great? <laughs> who is the great? Yeah, Esther Williams. You know who Esther Williams is? No. You don't know who Esther Williams You're a synchronized swimmer and you don't I know who Esther Williams is? I was a synchronized swimmer. I was. It's not something. I'm not I don't like even an know Olympic, who that is, though. I'm not like an Olympic uh, swimmer over here. I don't do it anymore. It's fascinating. I'm nearly 27 years old. We're talking about back when I was like 13. You're not nearly seven, you're 27. Like I know who Charles Chaplin is. I, I, I wasn't around in the 30s, mm -hmm. 20s, but I know who he is. Uh, you're a super nice swimmer, I don't know who Esther Williams is. So I'm we learned, we learned, we learned that, that you don't know Esther Williams. Swimmer. We learned that you can't yeah, swim can despite that. that. I, do. I can pretend that I do. You don't know oh, what yeah. the word... Jackie, you know what the word harem means? You know what a harem is? Of course, right? Would you be shocked if someone had a doctorate degree? A what degree? Do doctors, do right? What's your degree? What's your degree in? You could say a doctorate, but yeah, doctorate? It's, in, it's in whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. Someone has a doctorate degree from college. And, and not yet. I'm still And doesn't know it. the word harem. Would that be shocking to you? Not really. Really? You, you wouldn't like find that bizarre? A billion. A little bizarre. A little bizarre. A little bizarre. It's a little bizarre that you don't know the word harem. Well, you also said harem, and you said harem. Harem. So there's harem. a little harem. bit of a difference. Oh, I, I have an accent. I, I, I you make city. shit up. You don't have an accent. You just <laughs> throw letters in. You spell it differently. You call me Jessica. You add. Herp. Herp. Um, <laughs> but I get, you know. So you can't write a but bike. But I'm the first person to admit I'm not the smartest person in the world. I don't know every vocabulary word. And when I don't know something, I ask or I look it up. So what's the difference? I'm the first person But you to know that word you. now. Now if I'll I said never you, forget. If I said to you, so Jessica, what does the word harem mean? <laughs> now I know. What would you say to me? It's uh, like a group of women in mm -hmm. that it, like are waiting in like a cave as you said it not a cave but like just doesn't a group, have to be it doesn't it's like have to a be group a of cave. women to have sex i mean with. when we think about harem we think of it's a, like a, 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 a an arab tent of some yes. sort or you know some Hole. sort of arabic temple yes. but it doesn't have to be that it could be any room yes with full lots of women, of women that are ready to, to a man ready to several their man. more than several women who cater to the needs of one man yes would be his harem of women but you can have a harem of anything, I guess. You can have a harem of turtles, I suppose. <laughs> Which, if you had said, what is a harem of turtles, I would have known instantly. Harem of chickens for one rooster. Yeah. A harem of chickens, a for, chickens for one, one rooster. rooster. If you had put it that way, I would have been so able it's the, to figure so it out. So it's the, oppo it's, it's the opposite sex. Usually, multiple females are catered to the need of one male species. It's a group for one. Under one, under one roof. That's what we learned. And we learned that you can't ride a bike, and we learned that you don't know who Esther Williams is. So on that note, yes, we will be back next week. We're gonna have, believe it or not, we're still gonna have. Tell them what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Can I can I do a lead in for it? Sure. So any second, Cliff, 
Rob Robinson. Robinson is coming in that door. Yes. Former New Jersey net. Yes. NBA great with his wife, um, New Jersey housewives. Heather. Heather. Reb Robinson. Robinson. They're going to come in through that door yes. and we're going to do our interview as promised. Yes. It might be a two-parter, but we're going to do it. So if you're watching live, stay tuned. Watch. Right. Are we going to broadcast it live? Yeah. Yes. All right. So if you're watching live, stay right. with us. Right. You know, have fun. Look at the VIP room at Sapphire. We're going to end this version of the show now. Start map questing from your house on how to get here. That's what you could do in the meantime. Yeah. Because you want to come to Sapphire. You want to come to Sapphire and actually meet everybody. The Robin yeah. Robinsons. Why is it so hard to say I, that? Because every word in the English language is difficult for you. Yeah. It's hard. To, but you have you're having trouble too. Robinsons? Robinsons. <laughs> like I you know what I keep thinking of? Swiss family Robinson. <laughs> exactly. It's hard, right? Now you don't know if it's I Robinson. was thinking Mr. Is it, Swiss, Mr. is it Swiss family Roberts or Robinson? It's definitely not Robert. Or Robins. Swiss what is family it? Robins Rob Swiss family Robins. Thank you. We'll, thank you. Next, next hour. We'll be back right after. We'll be back next, next week. Next week. Next week.